now graduating from college is one of the achievements to start a new journey in the professional world. Now, however, many are actually confused about how to prepare for their career, right? I'm still confused. Uh, I've been graduating Until for a while. now? <laughs> <laughs> well, the majority of fresh grads have career targets to work in certain companies. But sometimes the reality that doesn't meet expectations such as getting a job offer outside of their passion or expertise leave them disoriented. Yes, that is so true. Now, so what should fresh graduates prepare for their career? That is the big question. So let's find out the answer straight from uh, a career coach, Mrs. Debbie Tanamal, or known as Ma Debbie. Good morning, Ma Debbie. Good morning. Good morning. How Good morning. are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, so speaking of, uh, you know, what to do postgraduate, it is something that, you know, these these days, um, you know, kids are actually like top kids. I feel so old. <laughs> <laughs> People are actually talking about that, right? So it's, it's more... Um, they know where, what to do, where to go, to be precise. Now let's get into that, my baby. So, what are the uh, challenges of facing graduates uh, during their transitions from college to a uh, work office? You know, it's, it's a different community, it's a different um, area, so sometimes they get confused. Yeah, so the first point is a cultural transition. Right. From, I mean, for, uh, undergraduate mm. to the workplaces means uh, the feedback. Right. During the university, we get the feedback about the subject from the teachers. Mm. But in company, uh, the fresh graduates need to learn about open feedback to any negative or positive okay. um, between their from their peers, maybe from their uh, supervisor. Right. So the first is about open to new feedback, okay. and then the second is about relationship mm -hmm. because at uh, university we can choose who we want to relate with. Right. But in workplace you, you cannot choose yeah. even you don't like the people i mean you need to work with them i so, like you indra you're nice well thank you doctor yeah <laughs> i enjoy working with you too okay. now now uh but maybe what what makes it difficult for a fresh graduate to get there the, to land their first job uh i think there are three yeah the first is about the experiences mm. the experiences and then the second is the skill the experience, I mean, uh, usually in formal education, the internship is really a uh, little percentage of that. Yes. So, I mean, uh, they need to embrace more on the project like voluntary, something like that. And then the second is the skill, I mean, like transferable skill, mm. which is we get from experiences. Ah. And then from university, you get the knowledge. Knowledge, skill, experience will build the capability. So, if you have the capability, the, camp, the company you look for is easy to tap that. But to, to, to develop the capability, you need both three. Knowledge, right. skill, and experience. Experience. Uh, so, uh, from you, do you think the school itself needs to change their curriculum? Or is it from the student themselves, do they need to, like you said, uh, find your experience outside of schools or something like that? Uh, I prefer from ourselves. I mean, from the student itself, need to adapt. Right. adapt and continuously learn new skill right. which is relevant in today's market. Right. So I don't want to blend the university, the school. I mean, that's our responsibility. Okay. As a, yeah. Now, you did mention about um, the skills, um, experience, which is actually all related, right? So sometimes when this, you know, this person wants to apply a job in, in, in a company, right? They have, the company itself, ha you know, it has lots of um, requirements that needs to be fulfilled. Now, one of them, if I'm not mistaken, is actually having, um, you know, um, skills or achievements or experience, such as two years experience, three years experience. Uh, experience. Now, my question is, if this person has no experience at all, how how can he or she apply to that company easily? Because I think it, that would be a barrier. Yes, I think that's a, a, a challenge for majority. Mm. So my advice is the first is show up your relevant transferable skill ah, right. that you get from ex school or any community activities during your undergraduate. Mm, mm. The second is build a network. Networking. So right. don't don't just trust you just apply, mm -hmm. build a, net, a network. And the third is 
please start jump to internship or voluntary. Mm. I mean, in parallel all that, yeah. you need to jump into that. Just to get the, the additional experience. Yeah, right? even even unpaid or maybe lower paid experience, it's just okay. You just need to start right, yeah. right. to get the experience yeah. of that. Okay. It's interesting yeah. she said networking, you know, what's the term in Indonesian, right? <laughs> orang dalam. Yeah, orang dalam, <laughs> like that. Uh, well, uh, we have a graphics over here. According to Indonesian Manpower Ministry, yes. in the data review of the 2022 to 2024 National Workforce Plan, the need for workers in Indonesia is expected to increase by 7.4 million people mm. during the 2021 to 2024 period, with an average growth of 1.84% per year, considering the high level of competition in this job market. Mm. What are the things that our fresh graduates should prepare to be able to compete in the professional world? Yes. Yeah. So I like to point out this related to bonus demography. Mm. I mean, since 2020, we enter and we'll be peaked in 2030, like South Korea in 2017 already happened. Okay. So um, what they need to prepare, I like to refer to two research conducted by Institute for the Future right. from USA and then MESK Foundation from United Arab Emirates. So there are five uh, future skill set. Mm. The first is how to make yourself known. It mm. means that you need to know yourself well, self-awareness, not just strength, witness, personality, not just that. Patient, purpose, potential, vision, goal. That must be a combined. And then how you can make yourself visible. Right. How you market yourself right. to your employer. So they know, they, they, they know your unique ability and skill. Right. The second is be resil resilient because we, 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 we're facing unpredictable challenges. Mm -hmm. And so how you keep in Indonesia waras in the yes. unpredictable, yes. unpredictable, yes. right. unpredictable yes. change everything yeah right. Right. and then different with technology and digital tools okay. because we cannot ignore now ai already coming right. in the world yeah right so and maybe the last one is about uh, sense making mm -hmm. so because the information and resources is so abundant mm. so how we can analyze organize interdiscipline of the data and make a prediction of the future make how we create the future using that data. Okay, so to use that da data and then we want to make, um, you know, um, a plan for ourselves, uh, for the future itself. In your point of view, Mbak Debi, does it have anything or is it related 100% to our education, such as, you know, um, it's not just postgraduate, um, uh, we, or we need to be um, a, a PhD. We need to be a, a professor, so it's like here in Indonesia, it's known, known as S1, S2, S3. The higher education that we can earn, um, is it going to be more promising or not? So in terms of education, I like to use the terminology learning. Learning. So it, it means if preparing for the future is a continuous learning, lifelong learner. Doesn't matter formal education or informal, you need just to stay update with right. your expertise trend. Okay. So need, every day is new way of learning okay so it's not just about you know the formal yeah. yes, education informal is anywhere right. i mean you just need to stay updated with your expertise mm, mm. that's very important and networking you yes say. networking <laughs> and find mentor yeah so so you're so you're saying is ivy league schools doesn't guarantee you for the next job but no like, i don't yeah, believe that i mean it's it's mean that from informal formal you need knowledge skill and experience so 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 you mentioned something about about the growing the the bonus, the demographic, bonus, demographic yeah. bonus. So, are you saying it was easier for for our generation to get our first job back in the days, and comparing to to kids that graduated that graduated during the COVID era? I think the competition now is very intense oh, okay. because uh, you you see the Gen Z, the fresh graduate, now is around seventy five million. Oh, so around twenty seven population mm. millennial is ar around 70 sorry 70 million mm. so around 25 mm. percent so the competition is very intense the, the the technology is very wide so my challenge is for the younger generation why you don't market yourself okay. using this technology and social media platform they're good at marketing marketing <laughs> yes, themselves, yes, right? yes especially when we have you know 
lots of platforms. TikTok, and Instagram. There right. you go, TikTok right. and Instagram. I, I want to tell my students right now, like, you guys need to watch this interview and listen. Yeah. You need to volunteer or do internship because, like, right. your competition is... Fair Very is, intense, is, is, yes, It's harder yes. than what I had to experience it, before. I thought they were just being lazy. I'm sorry, that's my bad. No, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> it turns out it's, it's very tough, right? Now, um, obviously, uh, in order to fulfill everything that you just said um, for, um, you know, the people out there who wants to get a brighter uh, future, obviously, they need to take or to enter the right path, right? So, Madhubi, do you have any tips and also tricks for them to help fresh graduates to actually tackle the professional world um, in the right way, right? In the professional way. Yeah. So, maybe there are four advice, yeah? Mm. The first is be, be, fle be flexible and adaptability. Flexible. You have adaptable with uh, open new ideas. With mm. new, I mean, working with different generation, mm. with different culture, yeah. And then the second is continuous learning. That I mean, we ne we cannot argue with that. Yeah. And then if you can find the support system, seek coach or mentor, mm. because they have experience that you can learn from before. And the last one is mental health being. Uh, and our well-being, yeah. So you need to take care of yourself too. Yeah, I think I think the Gen Z is pretty good at the mental health being. I mean, I am actually learning from them like how yes, to yes. and your. But I'm going back to your number three, which is uh, which was um, what you call it. Uh, find a mentor or or sponsor. How do you go about that? Like, how can a person who you know they don't have that a lot of connection or a lot mm -hmm. of networking? How how can a, a college students? go and trying to approach somebody like can you become my mentor like how do you uh i suggest using linkedin uh -huh. because linkedin is a professional networking so my client is from i mean from a senior high school i already asked them to build oh. a network with that because you can find any kind from design architect i mean you need to take time to build connection though right. so Using that platform is very good one. And as soon as yeah, possible. because ninety three percent of recruiters also using LinkedIn to search good. for candidates. All right, so that's that's really good tip. So for all all those students that are still in high school, yep. they're in their senior years, start using LinkedIn. Yes, they can start it. Take take time. Build a connection. So, follow the association and community. Right. So it's because like you mentioned earlier, it takes time to actually build that connection. Yes, so yes. it's not gonna be like you have One to link in today no, and no, like yeah, you gotta yeah. get the job tomorrow. Right, great. And thank you so much for, for sharing. For the insight, right. uh, Although, I have one more question. Of course, you know, yes. He's really we've, interested. Yes. We've been yes. talking about fresh graduate. Okay. How about for uh Subi? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say I wanna I'm be still in school in <laughs> <laughs> How about, how about for people who who want to change career? Like, what kind of advice can you give mm. somebody who want to? Okay, for people pivot, yeah, pivoting, yeah. The first is especially if you are above maybe thirty five, you already have gained a lot of experience. The first is self awareness. I mean, really find what your three P: patient, okay. potential, and purpose. Mm. And then you focus on that three P. Sharpen your skill related to the trend, and then market yourself. Again, marketing. Okay. Marketing is always. Yeah. Right? It seems like to be a team right now. There. <laughs> there you go. I'm sure you can do it, Indra. You're in. You're. I'm enjoying myself right you now. Are. So. You are. I have no plan. I'm just want to let everybody know. So I'm. I'm okay here. You, I'm enjoying my time here with. You can adapt well everywhere, Indra. We all know that, right? So again, Madhubi, thank you so thank very you. much for the insight and obviously Indra <laughs> likes your ideas here. <laughs>